And let us turn to God once more in prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, we turn to you in this chilly time of year with warm and hopeful hearts. In our daily lives, we know so many blessings. It is a joy to give thanks and praise to you, source of all. We celebrate that you are with us, transforming our lives, transforming our world, at work in and among and through us. O oh Lord, you are beyond eternity, and yet you also care deeply for this very moment. You are beyond this world, and yet you care for all your children here together. You are beyond all comprehension, yet you make your love known to us in our lives, through our thoughts and words, through the actions of others, through the marvels of creation. We give you thanks for your transformative power. Lord, with love and gratitude, we turn our hearts to you. We seek to be those who would help see your vision and love for us born evermore into the world. Wherever we see the great needs of the world, O Lord, call us to be your prophets, your peacemakers, your servants. Lord, this morning we pray for all those who act as renewers of the vision of your kingdom. We pray in thanks for all those who work to provide for the least among us, for all those providing medical care, healing care, spiritual care, for all those who work to provide meaningful employment, for those who work to provide housing and end homelessness, for those who work in our schools, who help develop the gifts of our children towards transforming creativity. We pray for those who protect and serve others, we pray for all who reach out to those most in need. Lord, we pray for those who challenge racism, for those whose vision is rooted in your promised world in which there will be no more division. We pray for those who work for peace in our time. And for all these, we pray for continued strength, renewal, encouragement, and support. O oh Lord, may we daily seek to, such, to live such tasks in our lives so that the kingdom Christ promises might be more reflected in the world we live in. We pray truly for that kingdom to come, and we pray, O oh Lord, for your will to be at work in all our lives and around the world. These things we pray as Christ taught them, as Christ taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, wherever you go this week, whether it's around the house or around the communities, wherever you are in all the states of being and heart, keep and hold these words with you. Be in the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all God's children. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may God, who creates, redeems, and sustains, keep you steadfast in faith, buoyant in hope, and abounding in love. And may the blessings of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be and remain with you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.